Good evening. Uh, it's Monday night here in Holy Week. It's been a little while since I've recorded one of these updates, and I actually have a lot to share with you about Holy Week at St. Peter's, uh, both one project I'm really hoping you join me on, and then also some information about um, what Holy Week is going to look like in terms of services. First, uh, I want to show you something. This here is my home altar. Um, I have this set up. It was suggested by a friend of mine that this is something that we can do here in our homes during this corona quarantine. We're away from church at the moment and it's important for us to reserve some space in our homes to make something sacred. So I want to invite you all to partake in this activity with me this Holy Week. It doesn't take much. Here, I'm going to uh, point again what we have here at the table. Uh, I repurposed the uh, record shelf in the, our living room. And here I have a simple cross, a candle, some devotionals. I have here pictures of the family, and I have the church directory and the, uh, the diocese directory as well. It doesn't take a lot, but it's now a space for our family for the remainder of Holy Week to keep sacred. This is a clutter zone. It hopefully won't be. Moving past Holy Week, though, there's going to be a need for sacred space. We're out of our sanctuary during this exile, and so this is a way for us to prepare. If the news reports this weekend are accurate, uh, over the next few weeks, um, we're going to need sacred space, both physically and emotionally. And I think this project can help us find that at home. This is a great way to involve your kids. Our kids helped uh, set this up with us. They found knickknacks around the house and spiritual items. And we made this table together. I'm going to be sending out an email later with all the information in this conversation, but some links on how you can do this at home, some great guides from around the church on how you can create your own sacred space at home. As you're doing this, I want you to take pictures, share it on our church Facebook, send it to me. Let's show the world, New Hampshire, whatever, maybe your friends, what you're doing at home, how you can make your space sacred. Finally, tonight, all this will go out in the email via uh, text. But I wanna tell you about what's happening at St. Peter's um, uh, this week for Holy Week. Holy Week is now, uh, but the Triduum of uh, Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, and Easter, uh, the Easter Vigil, are three of the most important days in the church. So um, we want to offer opportunities for you to partake in that and also be honest with um, your, our, and my own limits. Um, the first thing we're going to do together is Wednesday night, we're, continue, we're going to continue meeting for Compline. We did that last week. I think it went really well. Uh, so at 8 o'clock on Wednesday, uh, we'll gather on Zoom for Compline. Thursday, the bishop is offering a service in the evening, um, and I'm going to allow the bishop to take Monday, Thursday. In the email that will be coming out, you'll see um, other ways that you can celebrate and uh, take part in Monday, Thursday at home, but St. Peter's will not have a Monday, Thursday offering. Good Friday, though, we have two different things for you to partake in. At noon, uh, I will be outside of the church um, with a live Good Friday service that you can partake in on Facebook. And then in the evening at 6 p.m., there's going to be a Stations of the Cross um, using this incredible art that we found for the, uh, the Ono stations that we were never able to use. So Jason Wells at the New Hampshire Council of Churches and I will be leading an open uh, Zoom Stations of the Cross at 6 p.m. on Friday, which we hope you can partake in. Then on Saturday evening at 7 p.m., we're going to have our own Easter vigil. Uh, we're going to have a fire. We're going to have readings. We're going to gather to say the great Alleluia um, together. That will be over Zoom. That won't be like the Sunday services where it's been pre-recorded. That will be live and we'll be able to have, much like our comp line on Wednesdays. And then finally, we will have uh, a festive morning prayer on Easter morning. Emery will be recording music from the organ. 
uh, we will read, we will celebrate, and we will rejoice, even in this time of great suffering, um, the new life that uh, the Holy Spirit is moving. So I look forward to seeing you at as many of these offerings as you can make. Um, if you can't make them, but you're in still need of prayer or comfort or just rhythm this poem, this Holy Week, get in touch with me, get in touch with Emory. We want to be there for you. Um, your parish community is here. Uh, and I look forward to celebrating this week with you and then rejoicing on Sunday. God bless.